Today I will show you one of the more bizarre things that can happen to a snack machine. We're going to be discussing how a light bulb can affect electrical signals and cause an AP6600 to do some pretty weird things. Is something off here? You can see that the top level is completely empty where everything else is full. We haven't been to this machine for two weeks and this is slightly unusual. What likely happened is the electrical signals passing into the machine caused the top row to vend randomly, kind of like a slot machine. You can see also that the coin mechanism is almost empty. This is because coins too were randomly vended because of electrical signals. For further proof, let's check the prices. First, go to the control board and press check. Now, enter the selection on the numeric keypad, like so. Nine dollars and forty cents? Zero dollars? Ten cents? And zero dollars. The top shelf, which also vended all of the product randomly, are also set at random prices. This problem can occur on AP 6000s, 6000 XLs, and 7000s. So what you can do if you've had a light go out on an AP 6000 or 7000, you've experienced a problem like this, and this is something you should actually do for all your AP 6000s and 7000s, is you can get a power conditioner that goes in line on its way to the light bulb. Very simple to attach. Just take plug it in here, plug it in at the other end, only one way it can go, you can't put it in backwards by mistake, tuck it in and you're finished. If your light bulb or your starter goes out, you'll no longer have electrical impulses going back to the circuit board causing the machine to reprogram itself for malfunction. And these items can be ordered through a vendor supply place, uh, Betson would probably have them, vendors exchange, there's a number of companies you can contact try to get these parts.